it, it, when, when people are in, in incarcerated in, in the different ways that they're treated during the time that they are incarcerated, uh, for instance, on, there's a lot of TV shows that make a big thing uh, about how bad you're going to, you know, how bad you're going to have it once you're in the who's gal. Uh, how does that uh, how does that go, suss out when the for the not only obviously it's not good for the person who goes to jail, but how does it suss out for society as a whole uh, when the person gets out when the person doesn't get out? You know, this thing about treating people really badly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, who have been uh, convicted of some crime or other. Well, again, I think it's about another critical distinction, and that's the distinction between punishment and corrections. And we call, I mean, in the US, we talk about a department of corrections. We do not talk about a department of punishment. So theoretically, we are invested in correcting people, or what we call rehabilitation. And that's a term I don't like, because most people in our prison system have not been habilitated in the first place, because they weren't given access to opportunities. So there's no rehabilitation. It's more habilitation. But um, I think the question is, are we investing in punishment? And punishment being, in my mind, and this is how I think of punishment, Punishment is sort of inherently immoral because what it is is it's saying we're going to tell you not to harm, to do harm by doing harm to you. That's mm -hmm. what punishment yes, is. Yes. And and as opposed to corrections, as opposed to rehabilitation, uh, as opposed to repair, um, I think of it as the revenge versus repair philosophy. And there is, I think that throughout history and context, obviously the world is a big place and history is 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 massive entity, but throughout there's been distinctions between are we engaging in repair in our society when someone harms someone else or are we engaging in revenge? And in this country, I certainly think, and this is what, what many of us who do this work think is one of the big problems of this country, we are invested in a system of punishment and harm. Uh, and not as a Department of Corrections, as we call ourselves. So it's actually a misnomer. And how does revenge suss out in terms of what happens to these people when they leave, or what happens to, what do they do to each? I mean, the idea that rape is running wild inside a prison system is just it. It, it makes my it, it makes me crazy. I mean, why would you you take responsibility for these human beings and then you put them in this very dangerous situation, uh, and and you you know you say hallelujah, you know? Absolutely, and we do celebrate that um, in in so much of our pop culture there are jokes about uh, dropping the soap in prison and you know there's comedy around this and and it's atrocious because what you're talking about again is something this punishment system whereby you're saying you did harm so we're gonna hurt you and the thing about revenge is that it's a cycle of harm and it's a cycle um, it's a corrupt cycle that ultimately destroys the fabric of a society and does not ultimately satisfy a victim either and I think this is the key thing right the other binary that our society is so invested in is this idea of victim and offender, not recognizing that the bulk of people involved in the criminal justice system are both. Uh, and that when a society is fragmented, when a particular community is broken because of lack of opportunity, because of systemic poverty and systemic racism, that what you're doing is producing um, a, a dysfunctional situation whereby people are moved into crime, they're both victimized, and they're engaging in harmful acts. And it's this horrible cycle. And then you throw them in prison, commit further harm against them, damage them further, have them come home to their communities further damaged, and engage in this cycle of crime and harm uh, again, and this cycle of revenge again. And so you really have to think about it on a moral level um, and on a safety level. Who is it benefiting? No one. Uh, and victims again and again, and this is something that I find so interesting, the research around victims is needs. I just actually um, read a new study that was done in California around crime victims and their needs and what ultimately meets those needs, right? Because that's who we're supposed to be caring about yes. when we talk about a justice system. And again and again, it's been shown that, that the traditional criminal justice system from the court system on down to prison sentences is not generally bringing victims the healing that they deserve and that they they, they long for and that theoretically a justice system is supposed to provide. Uh, and there are other paradigms that we need to think about. I'm a big advocate for restorative justice, um, for thinking about, again, repair as opposed to revenge uh, as a much more just, humane, and uh, productive. So